Hi everybody and welcome to my shop. I'm Frank. A friend of mine brought me his printer, a Creality CR10S. He had some problems with it. One of the things needed for this printer was a more recent firmware. Even when it comes out of the factory, the firmware can be old. Let's look at this process of upgrading the firmware on the Creality CR10S the easy way, of course. First, let's search in Google TH3D firmware. And in my case, it's the first link. Okay, they have developed a unified firmware that includes a bunch of printers. So you just have to download this firmware. They sell some sensors for the bed leveling. So that is why they have the firmware to ease the installation of those sensors. And it's available for many printers as you see in the list here. Okay, so unzip the file you just downloaded and inside you will find a bunch of files with this new 1.5 version. You even have the Arduino and everything you need. So plug in your printer. Oh, don't forget to close down Cura or the serial port will be used by Cura. Then back to the folder you unzip. There's a firmware folder, then the TH3DUF folder, then open up the TH3DUF.ino file. And if you have installed Arduino correctly, it should open the file. And you have to go into the configuration menu and you will see listed all of the printers. First one is the CR10 regular. My friend has a CR10S, so it's the second one. You just remove the two slash at the beginning to enable this firmware for this printer. You leave everything else for the other printers as it is. So disable. And at the end, you have the extras. You can read along what each of them do but we will change here the printer name so that it's written on the screen when you boot up the printer. It's nice. And also I like the manual mesh leveling. It's like having a sensor bed leveling, but you have to do it manually for each point on the bed. Then make sure the board is the right one selected for your printer. For the CR10S, it's an Arduino Duino Mega 2560, the serial port also. You can try the serial monitor to see if you can talk to the printer. In this case, it works. If it doesn't work, maybe you can change the baud rate and try again. And after uploading the file, you should see up there on the printer startup, it says the version that it has. So here it's the right version, 3 TH3D 1.5. And that's it for me, guys. As usual, if you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, push the little bell if you want to be notified of my new videos, and see you in the next video. Ciao, bye!